Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Now at 6 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, a brutal beatdown. Two robbers attack a business owner and his friend all inside of this downtown Los Angeles store. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. That business owner is recovering tonight, but his attackers are still on the loose. KCAL's Candace Crone spoke to the victim's girlfriend about this terrifying ordeal. As you can imagine, both the business owner and his friend are traumatized by what happened. Loved ones are concerned that the attackers who are still out there could strike again. Security cameras captured two men in hoodies and ski masks walk into a downtown LA clothing store. They briefly step out of the camera's view before returning, brutally attacking the store owner. The robbers kicked, punched, and pistol whipped 39 year old Frankie Salerno. His friend, whom you see there on the floor, was also violently beaten. I personally couldn't even watch it in like real time. Ivana Octaviana says her boyfriend was at his store, Cloud Pushers, Wednesday afternoon with his buddy. The business was burglarized the night before, and the two men were waiting for police to come take a report. That's when the robbers entered and attacked them before taking off with the victim's Rolex and other jewelry and cash. They end up like injuring him really bad and he got into ICU because of that. He has multiple fractures. Sir Lerno suffered a fractured skull, eye socket and a broken nose. After the attack, the suspects ran to their parked car, got in and sped off. Octaviana was in Arizona when she says Salerno's friend, who was also attacked, shared the terrible news. She just moved out of state last weekend because she said the crime in L.A. made her feel unsafe. Every single day, the crime the robberies and then I'm, I just cannot take it anymore. And so I decided, you know, it's time for me to move. And then guess what? Like 72 hours later, I'm back. Like I'm, I'm here and then it happened to my loved one. So it's, it's crazy. She's hopeful her boyfriend will make a full recovery and says this week might have been his last doing business in downtown LA. He already told me he will never Put his foot in there again. At last check, no description of the suspects, and the car involved apparently did not have a plate. Octaviana has set up a GoFundMe to help with her boyfriend's recovery expenses. Reporting in downtown LA, Candace Crone, KCAL News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.